Hello! Today's Tiger Time is about taking the time to right a wrong. No, none of us are perfect, and we all make mistakes. But when we do, it's important that we accept responsibility for our mistakes and do all that we can to make things better. R. Our stance for right a wrong today. Henry made a mistake. He snuck into the kitchen late one night and ate all the cookies in the cookie jar. There were only a few left, but they were supposed to be saved for his brother Jack and sister Ruthie. Instead, he ate them all and now the jar was empty. He felt very badly about what he had done, and he dreaded the next day when everybody would find out. Henry's granddad lived with him and his parents, and he was the best baker in the world. He made sugar cookies, chocolate chip cookies, raspberry filled cookies double chocolate cookies, cinnamon raisin cookies, and even snickerdoodle cookies. Every cookie that Granddad made melted in your mouth. But now they were all gone, and Henry didn't know what to do. He sat on the kitchen counter and wiped away the last few crumbs from his face when his Granddad found him. What's going on, Henry? His Granddad asked as he put a heavy hand on the boy's shoulder. Henry looked up at his Granddad, who he loved very much, and said, I'm sorry, Granddad. But before the boy could say another word, his granddad picked him up and put him on the floor. He looked at Henry and said, Now, Henry, I see we're getting a mighty bit low on those cookies. And since you're up, do you think you could do me a favor and help me refill that jar? Well, let me tell you, Henry's face lit up as he helped his grandfather pull out bowls and the eggs and the butter and flour. He reached up way up high in the top cabinet and grabbed the brown sugar and the walnuts and the chocolate chips. And lastly, they found the cookie sheets and the cooling racks under the stove, and they even found the big wooden spoon in the drawer next to it. Henry and his granddad had a great time as they measured, mixed, and rolled out balls of cookie dough. They placed them evenly on the baking sheet, and into the hot oven they went. While the cookies baked, they enjoyed a big slice of cake and an even bigger bowl of chocolate ice cream, left over from Ruthie's party the day before. When the cookies had cooled, Henry grabbed the jar from the counter and set it down. They filled that jar to the very, very top. Henry gave one cookie to his granddad and ate one cookie himself. Thank you for doing all that work, Henry, said his granddad. You more than made up for the fact that you ate all the cookies for Jack and Ruthie. Henry just smiled and wiped the last few crumbs away from his happy face. R. R stands for right a wrong today. Time for Tiger! Hi, it's Tiger Time and Kids Kitchen with Alex here. I'm an old cook from the dark ages. We're going to make macaroni and cheese today right here in this oven for you. The macaroni and the cheese. But we put some other things in there too. We put some all the cheeses I have left in the refrigerator from old parties and different things. And what's this one? It's camembert. Pew, it's stinky, but it'll taste good in the macaroni and cheese. This little piece is goat cheese. It's got a smile on its face. And we, then we have Parmesan cheese that mixes in. Very tasty. And we have to start with a little butter in this pan. I'm going to put the butter in. And there's some flour I'm going to put in as soon as I find my flour. The same amount of flour. Yep, there it is. Now I'm going to show you. What it looks like, it's, get, it's melting, but I don't want to burn it, so this is a, 
That sounds like I'm from France, but this is a French whip. And I'm stirring it up. See what I'm doing? I'm stirring it all together, and it's making a paste that will be amazing and thicken the cheese sauce, because the cheese sauce is gonna be milky. You can't have a milky macaroni and cheese. So that's our macaroni. Then we're gonna put um, our roux is ready, so we're gonna add a little milk to it, and it'll thicken right here. I'm putting the milk in right now. See it? Isn't that great? French whip. Watch it all come together. It will all come together and thicken. See what's happening? See it? See it? Where did that milk go? Where did it go? The milk is gone. So I'll put a little more because I want it to be good. And I'm going to put it back on the stove and I'll mix it. You can't see it, but I'm doing the same thing again. And that little flour and butter is going to make this thick. Yep, it's coming along nicely. It's bland and it's going right in there. Look at that. And I don't like to waste, so look what I'm doing. Watch this. There goes the salt. I love this Worcestershire sauce. It gives it a nice flavor. Pepper to come through, so I just take the lid right off and shake it like that because it takes too long to sit there and go like this, you know. And then here I have some garlic uh, flavoring and that's my seasoning. Now it is one thing we didn't do yet. The cheese! Pretty important. We're going to put some in and I'm going to stir it up like this. That will absorb the macaroni and all that. Do you see? And it'll get thicker in the oven. So since I don't measure much, I'm just going to put a little more milk in there. How's that? <clears throat> and make it soupy for now because when it comes out in about oh, 20 minutes or half hour, it all we have everything's cooked in there. You know, the macaroni is pre-boiled and done. So there it is. Now I want to make it look pretty. I want to make it look prettier than that. I'm putting a little breadcrumbs on there, just like that. I'm not making a mess in the kitchen, of course. And then I put a little more cheese on top, just like this. We're done. Now we can put that in the oven. I set my timer at 375. You can set it at 350 if you want. You just have to wait longer, that's all. Want some? Here you go. <laughs> Maybe I'll try some. Mm -hmm. Are right a wrong? Do you ever take time to talk to someone who's feeling really down? Ask them why they're hurt, see whatever you can do to help and Try to relate to empathy, yeah, yeah, yeah Now that's a cool friend who stays with you till the end Everyone is different, everyone's unique We all deserve some happiness, so be kind to who you meet We should all think before we speak, include all the other kids Give of your heart, show empathy, R-E-S-P-E-C-T Always be kind and never judge, except who comes along now That's a cool friend who stays with you till the end Everyone is different, everyone's unique We all deserve some happiness, so be kind to who you meet Yeah, 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 oh, God, this counts Everyone is different, everyone's unique 
We all deserve some happiness, so be kind to who you meet. Everyone is different, everyone's unique. We all deserve some kindness, so be kind to who you meet. Be kind to who you meet. Be kind to who you meet. Kind of